Hey guys, we just talked about our, in my last little snippet, little video there, questions one and two, re revision of uh, graphing straight lines. Questions three uh, and four are what we did yesterday in class. Now, question five. Let's look at question five. Graph the function f of x equals negative one-fourth times quantity x plus four squared minus two. Okay, if I'm going to graph it, I need two points on my math lab. That's all you need. It's magical graphing there. Okay, so if you have the same question, please don't pay attention exactly to the answers. We'll work through how to work it. Okay, so let's get two points. I'll write this down. f of x equals minus one-fourth times x plus 4 squared minus 2. Hey, here's our friend here. Our, our, the, the general form is minus h plus k. Oops, k, not b. It's kind of like b, but not b. It's k. So my first point is h comma k, and that is my vertex, all right? So my vertex is minus 4. I changed the sign on this here. Minus 4, comma, minus 2. I got one point. Hey, what's an easy second point to get? Substitute in for x, uh, substitute in 0 for x. I'll get my y-intercept up here. I don't know if you can see that very well on the screen, but I'm getting that point right there. So let's get that point. F, so this is step two. F of zero equals minus one four times zero plus four squared minus two. Now you can stick all this in your calculator if you want. Uh, I don't have a calculator handy, and I like doing my numbers, right? I'm a math teacher equals minus 4 minus 2 equals minus 6. f of 0, so my point is 0, the x, there's my f of x that corresponds to that 0. That's what that function gives me. There we are. Zero. So I have two points, and that's what I did on, I uh, got my two points. So uh, let's go look down to here now. We can answer all the questions. Once you graph it there, a little practice you might need. Once you grab it, then you can answer questions A through E, I believe. There's only two more, two new questions. Now, with a little care, you can do this just fine. The axis of symmetry, question uh, part A, axis of symmetry is, you know, through the vertex, okay? X equals minus 4. That's the coordinate of the vertex. So X equals minus 4, okay? Now, the domain. Domain, right? All x values, negative infinity to infinity. The range. Remember to use that square bracket. Okay, so it goes from negative infinity up to negative 2, the y value of the vertex. Ah, oh, the one thing that I didn't cover there, guys, is because the a value is a negative. That's, I know this is opening down. I know the parabola will be opening down. I haven't spent enough time on that. Okay, uh, practice it, you'll see it. Part D, the interval for which the domain of the function is increasing. Interval of the domain, so the x values and the slope, it's talking about the slope. It's increasing, the function is increasing up until it hits the vertex, because this, it's pointing down, uh, opening down, the left side of the parabola is increasing. So it's increasing from negative infinity until I reach the domain value, the x value of negative 4, the x value of the vertex. And you have to put a square bracket after that. Okay, part E. Interval of the domain for which the function is decreasing. So from the vertex where the slope is zero, on to the right to infinity, it is, the function is decreasing. So from square bracket, negative four to infinity. Good luck, guys. Um, thank you for your attention.